Blue Ann's gonna be gotta be like in work. So got a cord for me. Is gospel okay. but it's this edition that is drawn yeah, I wouldn't want them to hear this close to Christmas. I don't want them to hear what goes on. Oh, sit the tune live. Yeah, they can hear us now because we don't have the audio cord plugged in. Yeah. Bad cord. Oh, so when that cord's plugged in, they can't hear us. Yeah, they want to hear what goes through the board. Oh, yeah. So the problem is, I don't see it. Not sitting over here. In just the past four months, 750 medical dispensaries have opened in Oklahoma. After voters in the yeah, state they can hear that liberal yeah, mind. Yeah. 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 We sure yeah. identify yeah. the source of the profanity. What kind of cord do we need? I'll buy uh, uh, our own audio cord. Cord. That was well, our own audio cord. Oh. Ever wonder why Europeans seem to speak so many languages? Maybe because they use the number one selling language learning app in Europe. Apple's award winning technology makes you speak right away. What are you Spanish? French I'll keep looking once we get on. What the hell is this going to That goes to my uh, Alec. Yeah, you I'm not doing that. Why? Not today. Man, until I'm done these shirts with this job, I'm not going to try it again. And these shirts are going to die. What kind of shirts are going to that ain't plugged in to us. I know. Pardon my grammar. Try it for yourself and see why Babbel is the quick way to get uh, conversational in a new language like Spanish, French, or more. You can try Babbel for free. Download the app or text VOICE to 484848. Text VOICE to 484848. Uh, it's going to expect mostly sunny skies today. It will be mild with a slight chance of a shower. You see an adapter over there somewhere? Tonight, slight chance of a shower lows in the upper 40s. And for Monday, mostly cloudy with afternoon rain in the mid 60s. This is Peter. I might be able to do something we got this morning. But why do you want that? A radio is a prop. For radio, it's a prop. You have a prop for radio. It's a prop. Nobody watching. See, there's only two people. It's a prop. Morning, John. Hi, John. They hated John Michael. Hey, John. That was blurry, didn't it? So that's your eyes. <laughs> All of y'all look blurry to me. Oh, man. Yeah. Flip. And how Santa Claus passes time at empty oh, malls. Sorry. There we go. When I was cleaning the screen, it flipped this way. Of a great new bottle of I need a little sound. You want a of the best there we go. Uh, Mike and Stu have the answer. For the combined there you go. That's good. Industry, good for me. Of That's good for me. Bring you the latest trends, right. expert opinions, and interviews with people in the know. They are the dynamic duo of dining. Oh, it's a wine and food show, Stu. It's a food and wine show, trust me. Well, by here, sip and chew. It's, it's wine and food. Because chew rhymes with Stu. That's the only reason. Four, five, fry, cook, and grape killer. Now it's time to sip and chew with Mike and Stu on FM Talk 106.5. Hey, Mike. 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 Mics are hot. That is one of the greatest, most wholesome songs ever written. And oh, anyone it is. that has a problem with it shouldn't play it at home in their own home. You Have you noticed to it, right? you're hearing it more this year than ever? <laughs> Thank goodness. It had the yeah. adverse re effect. Yeah. And believe it or not, I, I ran into a snowflake last night that didn't like the song. Yeah. Thought you it was, tell them uh, that, that they're sexist. welcome to keep their opinion to themselves. Yeah, they should lock themselves this in a door and never come out. This was sexist and and well, she's wrong. Period. Yeah, period. period. Absolutely right. Period. She's wrong, and she's not going to. Her run. opinion does not matter. Either that, or she's never been in love with anybody. Yeah. Because obviously the lady. My love. Obviously yeah. the lady wanted to stay. I don't think anybody looked like she really didn't appear. And I'm not judging, but she didn't appear to be somebody that most guys would hit on. Hmm. Uh -huh. So, anyway, that, that good morning, Stu. She was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> like a lady. <laughs> oh, please, anyway. come on, it's too early in the morning. <laughs> good morning, and welcome to the Sip and Chew Show. Yeah. Sip and Chew with Mike and Stu. Yeah. Mike, what's in this drink? Uh, agua. I, agua. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
You say that vodka. call the lady. I know it looks like vodka. You said vodka. Yeah. Jim. It start. It's made. That's made with agua water. Man, I got to tell you, last night out doing the Christmas thing mm -hmm. after a long day at work and uh, trying to figure out what we got to get something to eat. We're both hangry. We got to go somewhere. What better encapsulate? What better captures the entire Christmas spirit than a hot bowl of pho from a Vietnamese restaurant? Pho, pho. Well, mm -hmm. where did you go to get full it? Pot of pho. Pot of pho. Far and away the best pho in the world. It was, uh, you think so? Uh, or pho 88. How far it's is it on the pho? It's on the zip. It's, uh, it's, it's a, not too pho. It's right down <laughs> on the zip. Oh, you're right, uh, Pho 88 and pot of pho, it's one of those, it's a coin toss as to what your personal favorite is. Mm -hmm. We ended up at pot of pho last night. It was fantastic. It is just, it, it is a broth. Charlie, that is unlike any broth you've ever had. It is all about the broth with pho. Uh, now, I had steak, brisket, and meatballs in mine too, so that wasn't bad. Yeah. But, uh, it, uh well, it sounds it's, great. It is great. And then you flavor it the way you want, Charlie. You get a big plate of jalapenos if you want it spicy, basil if you want it herbaceous, uh, lots of bean sprouts, uh, lime wedges if you want a little acidity to it, mm. and you just temper it the way you want. So the broth you start with is fantastic. The broth you end with is uncategorical. Well, see, that's that's where everything comes together in the bottom mm -hmm. of the bowl. Right. And that's the the honey hole or whatever. Yeah. You know, that's just... Pot liquor. What's that Italian dish I like so much? The same way. Chipino. Chipino. La pot, la pot and you get your bread, <laughs> and you get your bread, and you get all that debris out of the way, yeah. and you get to the bottom of the bowl. But with the pho, there's no bread. You pick the bowl up, and you do. I could do that. I could do that with a chipino. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to make clam, some of that. Except for the clam soon. shells. I will tell you, the, the first thing you do when making chipino is you start with an anchovy filet, in a little olive oil and you do what's called melting the filet and you just kind of cook it in that oil till it completely dissolves and then you come back in and start building your vegetables which are saute and everything and that sets the perfect base for your chipino hmm. it kind of pushes that that seafood flavor through anchovy straight as an ingredient uh, is hard for most American palates but it is phenomenal added to something and for those who swear they could never eat anchovy in any form uh that would yeah. be me if you've had worcestershire sauce you eat anchovy all the time uh, that is one of the prime flavors caesar salad caesar salad yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in worcestershire sauce is anchovy worcestershire yep it is one of the 23 or 27 ingredients but it is one it's of the main ones to say worcestershire worcestershire right now yeah hey i got a question for you we've got out of town friends that can't get together with us until Christmas Day. Will anything at all be open Waffle other, House. Than, other than Waffle House? Why would you want anything other than Waffle House? Well, I'm we'd like to get together <laughs> that evening. I hop. The, you know, uh, unfortunately, I'm, honestly, I meant to ask Pot of Pho, uh if they were going to be open because they're seven days a week. Yeah. I just I, wonder if anybody knows that mm -hmm. of a restaurant that will be open maybe Christmas night. You know, after all, I was, there are you know some restaurants to do that, but I will say the owners of the restaurants, if they decide to do that, their employees should get double time and a half for Christmas Day or Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Day, or don't open. Yeah. It's simple as that. Well, oh. Yeah, it's a little Christmas fun. Yeah, look at there. Well, we're doing a show. Mike's in here going through his spam on his email account. <laughs> Put your phone down and I'm the show is doing over. something. Tom. You're a I bad should, boy. I, I I Santa's not going to bring you anything. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and pull that on over? Let's get this out of the way here. All right. Well, Stu brought me something, yeah. and I thought it, it was, is a giant tootsie roll. Is I thought it was either a fire truck. It is not a child's fire truck, Mike. How many times do I have to I, I know, but I see the disappointment on his face. Oh, well, I or, think it'll, it'll turn here. Well, who, who cut it open? Uh, <laughs> when I picked it up, it broke. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. The present didn't. Alright, so no, we go ahead and open it up. Yeah, just go ahead. Let's, let's see what's going on. And then I'll walk you through it. Heather did all the good While work. While he's doing uh, that, thank you for the homemade salsa. Yeah, I, got, I brought some homemade salsa in for did Charlie you, and Did Phil. you make this? Or yeah, something? I made that one. All right. This is uh, duct tape. <laughs> let's see what this is. 
What is that wrapped in? It is not a child. It fire is a fire truck. It is not a child's fire truck. Take a look down here. Okay. Okay. Now he's turning Bordini's the Bordini's collection, truck over. 1970 from Italy. This is an antique fire truck wine oh. decanter. Oh my God! Really? I have no idea how you would decant wine in it. That's the only hole oh, I see. Word. You'd have to stand it up like that or like that. So that uh, it's just gonna fall. But you maybe know, you so could, don't decant anything. With well, in it, the opening, maybe you could get one of those little push-down faucet things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so an antique the, Italian like, fire truck. Fire truck. Yeah, that is decanter. so cool. Yes, it is. Well, I've never you. seen that before. Lord, neither had I until I was clearing the shelf. <laughs> and then I found it. I went, wow. Your dad got more stuff like this? No. Really? No, it really doesn't. That was just stuck on the you shelf want, back there. You want your shirt back? <laughs> no, I thought you might like that. What one. size is it? Oh, I'm sure it was one of my dad's. Yeah, that's a large one. It's not going no, on. No, it ain't going to fit me. Yeah, no, no, next, year to fit me. next year to fit me. Oh, we'll talk about it next year. Yeah, we'll talk about Just watch and see. You just watch and see. Buddy, well, thank you, man. That's awesome. See, I, hear, I, I feel just, a training regimen. I was on. just teasing when I said, you know, fire I, truck. You said it felt like that a fire so truck. That is so cool. Yeah. Is it but see, I cannot figure out how that's a decanter, though, when the hole is on the bottom of it. You got And you got to put the wine in it, too. Well, yeah, that's well, what I, I, wouldn't that use, with a I wouldn't use it for that anyway. Right, yeah, because there's no telling what's inside that thing. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and it's got a crack right here, so that adds more character to it. Yeah. Oh, that sure. Makes yeah. it more valuable. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know how, I don't know that it's extremely I'm gonna have to. I'm going to have to go to, uh, and, uh, what's that show that comes on PBS? Uh, <laughs> Antique Roadshow. <laughs> Antique Roadshow and see. Well, it's a Mr. history Mr. Mr. Daly, this fire truck is a collectible. It's worth almost seventeen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Now, if Corn you can hold on to it for another fourteen thousand years, then it will be worth something. Mm -hmm. Each year, it'll appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> Mike will appreciate well, see, it each know, year. That's right. You know, things like you know, things are. I can people tell Mike put such touched. values on. Mm -hmm. are, you know, in my opinion, are only worth what people are willing to pay for. That's okay. just like so selling your I've house. got things. I've got things. I just rather keep it mm -hmm. and sell, sell yeah. it than sell it. Yeah. Well, I, I, when I figured out what it was that it was a wine decanter, I knew there was only one place it needed to go because it was just going to sit under our tree as a decoration. Awesome, but, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll give you a hug and a kiss after a while after right. the show. Do it off, Mike. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Charlie looks. It's festive. not that cold outside. I can go. Charlie, Charlie's uh, looks festive with I his red shirt. We gotta go to a commercial, on. Mike. Calm down. Oh, yeah. Three four three zero one zero six. If you want to uh, uh, call in or text. Ding 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 ding. Take that got your wine. Got your wine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you need. <laughs> that would be a wine decanter right there. <laughs> That's cool. Man. Yeah, if it just sprays the wine and just yeah. with the water hose. <laughs> 150,000 PSI. How about if we, how about if we come back and, let's, and I'll tell the story about Alan, you know. Yeah, and, and, and I think I can have We're going to answer the next thing, but see me when you say Alexa. Hey, yes. Mike, sorry to interrupt you, but when you kick Bob's on, we need to figure out how to play Butch Cassidy in a different segment from Burger. I assume they would be sort of competitors. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there are some uh, friends. They're friends. Well, you know, but it's something to think about. Mm -hmm. Butch Cassidy. But imagine the terror if you had like 10 different restaurants yeah. sponsoring yeah. the show. Yeah. Uh, so imagine the money if we had 10 different restaurants sponsoring the show. Well, you wouldn't have to work so hard. <laughs> you could give up one of your jobs. Man, what would you say? Alexa. 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 And Craig. She goes, yes. Tools is How would you find the perfect tool for yeah, what can I do? And save yeah. margins. Locally, Gulf Coast Tools is your I'll do that. I'll, I'll introduce it like that. I, I, I could, you know, this is a so fun Christmas. I couldn't find any for sale out there, and I don't have time to order one off Amazon. So I went out to the flea market. I found a little knock on the mobile. I get the call. Yeah. Hi, this is Brady so Brown. The we're FM call 10657 department. <laughs> and then I'll make all of those listeners your customers. Yeah, work. Let our advertising it's expertise we'll try to make this a feature after the first year. year. Yeah. Just give but me a call at 251 344 1065 extension 19. Well, they're not going to be able to hear anybody without the cord. plan for your local business on FM Talk 
The management and Tell me what to buy and I'll keep one in my car too. And yeah. it's, it's just uh, well, what I'll do is one winner. Seven, seven, seven millimeter, bring our stuff in. Seven millimeter on each other. Bring our stuff in. And they take our stuff out. Is it, or is it five millimeter? Hands on the wheel and never text and drive. Yeah, it's just regular part to make this safe and happy. Yeah. This safety reminder from the management and employees of Spiltech Environmental and Mobile. I wish we didn't have any calls now. Stand by. I would go to Thomas. Call 343 okay. 0106. Now back to Mike and Stu. <clears throat> I'm going to let it play for just a moment. Besides that, there's some questionable reindeer looking at Rudolph's behind. <laughs> Mics are hot. Alrighty, somebody asked a question in here about restaurants being open on Christmas Day. I hate that that happens, but yeah, but that's the only time we're exactly. You know, we don't want to have to cook another but, meal. But Roy brought up. Roy just texted me. He he brought up a good point. Most of the hotels, yeah. restaurants are open. Right. And there's some really great restaurants in Mobile. That, yeah, go to the Battle House. Yeah. Oh, Battle okay. House. Now there's a thought. Yeah. Riverview, I'm sure the Admiral. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This restaurant's going to be open. So. The new Hilton right there, I don't know if the main restaurant will be open. I'll tell you another oh, place, you're talking, Charlie. You're talking about uh, uh, Eugene's Monkey Bar? Yeah. yeah. They might, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know about Eugene's. Know. But so, here's something. This is out of the box completely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go to Spring Hill Hospital and eat at their cafeteria. It'll be open, and it's yeah. really pretty good. Yes, it is. There you go. Yeah. Well, you're you're a testament to that. <laughs> yeah. I uh, would. Anything over on the eastern shore, because my friends are going to be hanging in. Back. I think well, they got Thomas Hospital over there. I think they got a cafeteria. Cameras uh, uh, downtown is, I think, is open. Uh, yeah. They usually do. Uh, anybody uh, knows? Call in and help. Grand me Hotel. Out. Grand yeah. Hotel. So hey, we got a caller. Let's see what Thomas wants. Good morning, Thomas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. You're too. You're, well, you're entirely too serious when you call. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, okay. Go ahead, Thomas. I'm playing with you. <laughs> you stunned me just now, Charlie. And it's not a box outside the box, guys. I'll have to explain it to you another time. But it's outside the orb. It's an orb. There's things going in and out constantly. It's in motion. It's not only rotating, but it's moving. It's in a orb. All this information. Okay. And nothing gets caught in a corner or pushed up against the side. I can make it an argument it's an orb and not a box. But anywho, uh, th this came out this week and it's about eating. And they say that women and guys are still about five foot nine. That women have gained thirty pounds heavier today than they were in the 1960s. And I'm wondering if it's a fast food and we're not cooking right in the house. I think you may all be of that. something. All of that. But what about men? Go ahead. What about, about men? Men, I, I about the same. Uh, they went, well, they went up, I think, eight, eight pounds to 197. And women average out, they uh, dress out at about 170, 171. Wow. Dress out. I yeah, like that term. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> women, we, 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 I'm going to invest in flour. Uh, futures. Well, I know when I look back in my high school yearbook and I see all those girls with the buffon hairdos, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking, gosh, those girls are kind of thin. That's got to be 18 pounds right there, those buffon hairdos. I'm telling those you. Those beehives. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're going way back. That's uh, six uh, uh, Careful, careful right? now. Yeah, <laughs> be careful. <laughs> right. careful, careful. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, have, have a great show and a happy new year and uh, um, make, may all your wine be sweet. Oh my God! And, cool, and have a cool Yule. <laughs> 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 
drove along. That's yeah. close. That's close. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now, to, I can address <clears throat> the, the, sauce. the increase in weights in, in Americans has been dramatic over the last 30 to 40 years. We're trying to catch the Italians? Uh, no, their weight is, is not. Now, the France is surprisingly low. They have the highest yeah. fat content in the world, but they drink a lot of red wine. Uh, the, the three main things that have contributed to the obesity problem in America, and it's not fast food specifically. Mm -hmm. It was, the very first thing was the invention of Crisco shortening, mm -hmm. which is hydrogenated oil. It's the trans fat you hear about. There is no such thing as healthy shortening. You are better off frying in lard or beef fat than you are using vegetable shortening. I remember lard. And the next thing was in the 1960s when this occurred, the average diameter of a plate in the 19, prior to 1960 was nine inches. It became trendy in the 60s to go to a 10 inch plate and you, used, you left that whole extra inch exposed to show off a pattern. Yeah. But as Guess time what? went by, yeah. people started going all the way to the edge of the plate. Yeah. And ten, a 10 inch plate full of food is more food than any human being should eat in one time mm -hmm. from a nutritional standpoint. The third thing that happened was the introduction of high fructose corn syrup yeah. instead of sugar into the food system. Right. And it went untested by any scientist. It was just pushed into our system. The FDA did not test it. Jimmy Carter allowed it to enter into our food system without any scientific test done on it whatsoever. What we found out is the body can't metabolize it. Every single thing you consume with high fructose corn syrup goes directly to fat cells. And I will add one, one other thing energy. Yeah. is people's time. Yeah. People don't have time no, to don't eat take properly. Time. No, they, don't they don't take, take time, time to eat properly. Right. Uh, Michael Rollman, who was uh, one of the best food writers in the world, was at a seminar and they were addressing the whole thing of, well, in today's modern times, we don't have time to cook. And his two-word answer was bull bleep. Mm -hmm. And everyone stopped and he said, we all have the same 24 hours a day yeah. in our lives. We choose what to do with those 24 hours. Working a 12-hour day is a choice. Yeah. You don't have to do it. But you choose saying, people, to do it. People are running around so, like crazy, and they're going to hit the fast food places mm -hmm. and, and the things that are not right. healthy for them. Right. And you need to, you know, when you sit down. And, and the eat, only way that fast food can be affordable is if they use things our bodies can't use. Yeah. They use hydrogenated oil and they use high fructose corn syrup because people seem to be under this delusion that a lunch should not cost you more than five or ten dollars. It should cost you 20 and up if you are getting good food. Right. If it is less than that, you should not be eating what you can get for that amount of price on a regular basis. Right. A couple of times a month is fine. Fast food more than once a week is dangerous, period. It's because of those chemicals. Right. And yet we're feeding yeah. our kids Happy Meals. Every that's, daily, what daily, that's what daily, I'm saying. Yeah, that's so child everybody's on their, yeah, they're, Everybody's on their in a hurry to be here and be there. But look, What is this, Mike, on the look, table? Look, folks, that looks like one of those uh, like every, NSA bugs everybody, that you put in your house. Everybody, but everybody it's fine. different. You all heard of Alexa. Alexa. Yeah, yeah. Right? Alexa. Alexa. That don't Alexa. look like Alexa. It, I know. It's similar. But I went out. I thought we needed one for the show to ask oh, some well, people you, could type in or text in their questions or call in and ask questions or text me on my phone if you have my phone number and, and, and give us some questions. And what we would do is ask Alexa. Now, here's the problem. I went shopping mm -hmm. to try to find one. Right. Well, right. being Christmas, they're all sold out. Oh. So I got the idea to go to the flea market yesterday. Oh, because they got good stuff. The flea they market. got really good stuff at the flea market and mobile. So I went out there and it, it's not Alexa, but it's similar in a lot of ways and it's called Alec. Ask Alec. So we're Alec. Gonna do Alec. So we're going to do this segment every week and it's going to be called Ask Alec. Alec, huh? So I got a few questions here, Stu. Well, we'll I'm going to so ask them. First of all, you know, you say Alexa and then she goes. Wait a minute, don't you have to plug it into something? Yeah, it is. Hush, Charlie, you're destroying <laughs> the crop. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you, you always say Alexa and then she'll say yes. But so we're going to start off. You got to make sure it works first, okay? Yeah, okay. So uh, give it a try. Alec, hey, how you doing? <laughs> what the heck? What? What is? Okay. What was that? All right. All right. All right. Here's a question. Yeah. That's that's the voice, folks. It's not Alexa. It's not that sexy. It's Alec. Alexa. It's Alec. Alec. We're going to do ask 
Alec, okay? Okay. All right. From your memory, from your childhood memory, what is the best mac and cheese recipe that you remember your mother made from your childhood? Oh, boy, I'm glad you asked me that, man. My right. mama used to make some macaroni and cheese, son. I'm telling you, it was good stuff, man. It filled us up. My brother Thomas and I, we loved it. My goodness. The first thing you got to do you got to start with a root. That's your butter and your and your, and your flour, and you cook that up real nice and good. And then you, you're gonna add some cream into that, and then some cheese and, and a little bit of uh, a little sour cream. That's one of my secrets. Okay, all right. Well, what do you think, Stu? <laughs> that sounds like a good recipe. I tell you. But what do you think voice, about the alley? The voice is familiar. It does sound familiar. Yeah, oh, it knows well. how to cook. I tell you that. Kind of okay. sounded like Jeffy. Well, uh, uh, let me ask you this question. Let's ask. Let's ask it this question. Well, it's your time. <laughs> uh, what are the best meat choices for parties? Is it best to have one meat or two meats? Sir? Oh man, you can't have enough meat. We on the Gulf Coast down here, son. You got your strips, and you got you some flounders and some oysters, and you get, get you up there some ham, some smoked ham. Oh, I love a good smoked ham. I tell you what we used to make down there in the park was it called Lebanon. It's got uh, it's some really good uh, Lebanese food. Man, it's got lamb and all kinds of stuff in it. I, I like this lamb. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good answer. This thing works really well, I think. I, yeah. I think it's going to be a great addition to the Man, show. that voice is so familiar. It does though. sound familiar. Huh. Yeah. I don't know where that comes from. Ask Alec. Huh. Hmm. Well, uh, Alec? How you doing? Uh, who's your favorite college football team? Oh, go Jack. Okay. Hey, I think that we just familiar. got that. That it, does sound familiar. Did Troy win last night? I missed the very They did last. win. Yeah. They did win. Congratulations. I hope they had a good crowd. I hope they had a good yeah. turnout. So, that's awesome. Gotta okay. go. All right, we that's gotta go, folks, for a break. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, be back, back in a minute. Yeah. Enjoy the Christmas We music. may or may not talk about anything. <laughs> See if he's uh, hearing us. Well, there's somebody on hold on the line. I don't know what's going on there. Hey, Phil. Yeah. Hey, Phil. Yeah. Hey, Phil. They got a wire plug in. They can hear you now. Easy on the profanity, brilliant. The Gulf Coast can expect mostly sunny skies today. It will be sunny. Fine. 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 The I very rarely look at any videos on Facebook. Management and now, Jermaine Funny Man, he talks about college football, I watch that one. That's about it. On I'll trip, occasionally watch trip. Jimmy Fallon. If you're in an accident, your chances of surviving are Have you seen, uh, uh, I have my sense of the videos that are play on the on the wheel and Have you seen the guy driving? This is a split screen. He's over there looking at what they're cooking. And he's laughing. And he's making fun. Wishing you a lovely Christmas and joy. Joyous New Year. Since 1973, yeah. George's Candy has been sweetened up with real Christmases. From Aunt Lou's to Tron, to Tron Mini Fruitcakes, to Deacon's Pie, Christmas Dinner isn't complete without dessert from Three George's and the New House. And don't forget, Three George's Cheese Straws are all out of every Christmas party. Stop in one of our stores, Three George's Candy, downtown on Dolphin Street. Next week, y'all might consider us making some New Year's resolutions. Once a month. Never. Uh, I, uh, now you know better. I haven't made a New Year's resolution since 1991, but I've kept it. You know, I'm not making any resolutions. Yeah, that was my New Year's resolution in 91. I'll never Save that and share it next week. Yeah. I usually do. That's an annual thing. Try a new wine. Try a new restaurant. Read the bottle. Read the bottle. 
<laughs> from Airbus to <coughs> Brothers, and from architecture to Rag Swamp, the more you learn about Mobile, the more you'll want to learn. Few American cities can claim the rich <coughs> history and culture of Mobile, Alabama. Discover the surprising facts, people, and events that have shaped the port city's colorful 300 plus years. Available at the Haunted Bookshop, Ashland Galleries, Five Gold Monkeys, Southern Art and Framing, Page and Palette, Cotton City Antiques, and online at oldmobilerestaurants.com. 30 seconds. My parents used to sell antiques and cotton city. Hi, this is Cam Oh, okay. For 20 years, I've studied workplace and workforce trends to help my clients adjust I will, to the changes that are shaping employees, better customers, suits. and workplace. <laughs> really stink. my new show, What's Working with Cam Marston, I bring but my dad was also with all my clothes, all my clothes that are shaping so your work. I still like cigars. <laughs> <laughs> I think back to stuff that has been in the drawer since I moved in when it was still saturated with cigars. I'm pulling shirt out of here. Smells like a bad. Now back to my guest too. And this to sip and chew with Mike and Stu. Mike, did you write this song? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sounds like something I'd write. One and every Sunday morning, listen to Sip and Chew. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a spirited mood today. Yeah, and we come, haven't even got, come but we have, we have a spirit, and, but we haven't gotten into the spirit yet. I brought the decanter. Where's the wine? Don't you have something out in your truck, Shirley? <laughs> no, I do. In a brown paper bag. No, I don't. And quit calling me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Uh, I want to do a little teaser here. Uh -oh. She's teasing. After the first year, Keep it on. We, we have a new sponsor after the first year, but we're not we're not <laughs> going to tell who it is just yet. Because we don't want a bunch of other sponsors trying to jump on the bandwagon. Well, we want more sponsors, but you know this is the this is the person who stepped up to the plate and wants to sponsor the Sip and Chew show and wants to. Be a part of it. He's excited about business. it. Fine, Fine business. business. And yeah. wants all those extra customers that we're going to send their way. I hope we do. We will. <laughs> we will. Yeah. But uh, so anyway, flocking in. Anyway, there's a teaser, folks. Yeah. Stay tuned for more next year. Hey, we got we got a call. Hey, let's get our. What's yeah. that say? More no, data? Not, yeah, no. yeah. I uh, you need to go put your speaker next to the phone so they can hear the call right now because I have to handle this one myself. Oh, you do. You can walk all the way over there, Mike. Let me see here. What do you? What, wait a minute. What? What do you? Gonna, I could do you stand up. On, you can't the roll on the chair. I have to untangle it first. Yeah, go ahead and bring more daddy on. I have a feeling that this call is coming all the way from the South Pole in Grand Bay, Alabama. Somebody's lost. Yeah. Good morning, more daddy. Merry oh, Christmas. We are all in the Christmas spirit this morning, that is for sure. How can we help you or be of assistance? Oh, my goodness. I'm looking for a gift idea for a loved one, and I just found out that Jake's place in the theater door has closed. And I have stuff on layaway there. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know Jake's place had closed. Oh man, uh, a Rouse's gift card, that's what I would think, or or something like that. Or you know what, just tell them that you love them and that's good enough. You don't, you don't like to eat. Yeah, so well. You like to cook, but you don't like to eat. Hmm. And uh, you got him a girl. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> I love you too. I think we will, buddy. I love you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.
Is that your brother? That was my brother, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, I just knocked the camera over. Oh, good grief. Mike can't do anything with technology. Now, everybody watching on Facebook has it's got Mike that, hey, okay. seasickness. There we go. Thank you. Picture Michael. just leaned over real quick. <laughs> We have lost our audio cord that normally puts the sound feed into the phone. And we're having live. to be careful what we say. So when we get a call, one of us has to go over there and put our headphones up against the phone so the people watching on Facebook Live can hear what we're talking about. But now my headphones aren't working. Well, you know, well, you I, don't, probably I think that's more go. of a mic issue than it is a uh, there headphone we go. issue. The mic being you, by the way. Hey, yeah. stop reading. We're, we're on the air right now. Well, I've got people texting me, telling me stuff. <laughs> gift ideas. Oh, gift ideas. Oh, I'm okay. still looking for any more restaurants that are open Christmas Day yeah. for supper. Go to, we just told you, man. Find I know Howard the hospitals Johnson. hospitals and the hotels. Where's the Howard Johnson? Hey, I'll also tell you, if you'd like to go visit our fine neighbors in Mississippi, there are two Denny's on I-10 between here and Gulfport. Oh, yeah, that's true. That first, ex, uh, the... Uh, the second exit going into Ocean Springs, there's a Denny's. Yeah, and there uh, may be, State. there's a Moe's Southwestern in one of the truck stops, one of the pilot stations, I think. Hey, I bet the truck stops will have one open. Oh, yeah. Try the pilot station up in Satsuma. Y'all hit that Arby's or get a pizza. I tell you, uh, I'll tell you another place is going to be open. It's, it's going to be uh, the place there at Wilcox Road exit. Uh, the, Oh, derailed, the derailed, derailed diner. diner. There that's that's you a, go, Charlie. Right there, right on the Florida cool Alabama place. line. It is a cool well, place. It's not on what the line, but it's what inside the line. Yeah. It's highway? at Wilco uh, Wilcox Road exit. Uh, highway oh, the train 64. station restaurant. Yeah, yeah it derailed. looks like a train bashed to the, you know, slammed into the wall. It's a cool, cool place. It is place. a very cool place. Yeah, it really is. You can eat in the caboose. It is the pinnacle of truck stops. I just don't see. I just don't see how Bucky's is gonna buck off the have you been in the Bucky's? no i will soon but they have a beef jerky section okay not a a shelf with beef jerky on it aisles and aisles of beef jerky really yes they have more beef jerky than most convenience stores have everything yeah hey i could eat at bebo's if they're open but i don't know it to, to me it, to me the uh the uh oasis and Derailed on it. It's like a tourist attraction. It is. It is very it's cool. cool as it can be. Yeah, I enjoy going down that good burger. I've eaten breakfast at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and you can buy yourself a saddle if you were into that kind of stuff. I well, have the, been there many times to buy cowboy hats. The bar a place to buy the, a cowboy hat at eleven o'clock at night. The counter mm -hmm. has got a John Deere tractor seat, or you can sit on a saddle, or you can sit in a, a barber chair, and it's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Anyway. The, seriously, Charlie, I think you would like it's very nostalgic from the fifties uh kind of look, that kind of diner. You're talking about it Wilcox Texas. Yeah. Yeah, I've the, been there before. Yeah, the booth they have a booth that is the bed of a pickup truck. Mm -hmm. Another one looks like you're sitting inside a nineteen fifty seven Chevy Don't there. get no better than that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that pack them it's, out. It's, I'm sure they'd love great. it. It's yeah. great. Great place. Mm -hmm. I think you just solved my problem, Mike. I mean, I do. Yeah. Oh, you are you going to eat at? <laughs> well, oh. we're going to get together with friends Christmas. And in your evening. own neighborhood, Charlie, the pilot station there by the the exit thirteen by the now abandoned uh, Mobile Greyhound Park mm -hmm. has a twenty four hour Wendy's. In. Has the Greyhound Park totally shut down? I don't know that any. Uh, so I heard a commercial for it yes uh, the right. other day. Is it want to buy a Greyhound Park? Well, you can buy. I yeah. mean, you can still go in and. Bet Park, on horses uh, and football games. Oh, it's synchronized. Uh, all track. All track stuff, yeah. Yeah. That doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun to me. No, it doesn't. It sounds like it'd be a whole lot more fun to go over in Mississippi and do the exact same thing where they bring you free drinks. Well, and I think that led to the difficulty of maintaining the dog track. Got a uh, got a request, or not a request, but a suggestion. You can go to casinos and eat. Mm-hmm. Well, that's true. Uh, and they've been wanting to go to the boats. And there you go. And they are problems. And they salute. loosen the slots during holidays so that people think, oh my gosh, you really win over here so that you'll come back later and lose your shirt. <laughs> you really think they do that? Yeah, they uh, they adjust the odds so that the payoff is a little better during holidays. I know the more you lose, if you win, if you say, on say the you machines, win. you can't affect a card game or craps or anything like that, but the, the machines where you just throw in money and push a button or pull a handle, 
they can alter those odds. And if you do it enough, they'll even <clears throat> comp your room, maybe. Well, I know somebody at one big. And or lose enough, they'll comp your They room. gave her a, a bunch of rooms for two, almost two months. <laughs> <laughs> that way they cheat you better your chances to get their money back. Yeah. I want to uh, say a congratulations to the uh, gentleman in Cantonment, Florida, who won $2 million, hit all the numbers except the Powerball number, Need a personal chef? And I want him to, yeah. I, well, <laughs> personal chef is available, beverage attendant, and uh, I just want mixologist. you to. Mixologist. Mixologist, yeah. And I just want him to email me the directions to his house. <laughs> Chris Trailer. Right. Yeah, we're coming to your place for dinner. Okay. Right. But imagine that. You what, know, is, what is the beer equivalent of sommelier again? We just met one. Just sommelier? Recently. Oh, God. What is that? The sommelier is a certified wine expert. Mike can probably explain it better than I can. So it's not somebody from Somalia? No, oh, no, okay. no. That would be a pirate. <laughs> You're right. That's hilarious. <laughs> we crack uh, ourselves up. Don't we we do that. <laughs> we do do that. Uh, uh, you know, there's so much, there's, there's so much uh, uh, paperwork. Uh, misinformation about being a sommelier and and there there are places that you go online and become one I mean to me that's not if you're not actually going to a regional class like in Atlanta or New yeah. Orleans to earn your sommelier yeah. you okay, should, actually I use taste buds you well, know? what is it and those it's just a, a, a glorified wine expert okay you know? a sommelier yeah, yeah. A sommelier. yeah. Simoyer. I think I think my thirty two years in a Is that a business, southern pronunciation of no, the French it's, word? It's French. It's French. Yeah. You stupid Americans, it's French. Take a bath, man. Take a bath. <laughs> we'll Shake your arm pit. Yeah. <laughs> Learn to stand up to Germany. Shake your legs. Won't stand up to Germany. Hey, look, I'm the, I'm partial to France, okay? Yeah. I'm I am too. I, it's it, it, and, and for people and I haven't been there, you have, but mm -hmm. from what I understand, there's two Frances. There is. There's Paris, and then there's the rest of the country. Yeah. And they are nothing alike except they uh -huh. they share a common language. The town, you think the, uh, the town of Bordeaux can be. Yeah, you think the way. rest of the country is a little more hospitable? And I don't tell you, the Bordeaux, the I city, yeah. is huge. It, yeah. It's, it's well, like right. But I have I have I have heard, and you have experienced. You that get out outside to, of Paris, you get the out French to, are very friendly. You get out to the mm -hmm. countryside, yeah, they love us. Yeah, they're very hospitable. They love us. Right. They really do. I just hate to go to a restaurant where I have to point at menu items because I have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> hey, guess what? They have a different word for If it's right? legal for them to sell, it cannot hurt you, so just order it and eat it. Yeah, well, I do that sometimes, yeah. except for sushi. <laughs> Sorry, I don't man. go to France for sushi. I don't even want to try it. <laughs> but I do, I do for foie gras. I, I will tell you this, Charlie. There are rolls that you would thoroughly enjoy. They are not raw at all. They are batter dipped and deep fried, my man. I've had some of those. Yeah. The, the, tempura. The, the, it's more American sushi. That's this means good. we got a break. Oh, okay. I was wondering what this meant. Delete <laughs> <laughs> Blue Ann stays only. Blue Ann stays only about my eating habits, and I said, "Well, the French are all skinny, and they eat all the said, You're not yeah. Yeah. And they also walk everywhere they go. Yeah. So this is Rory McSherry from the Irish Pub. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Where you can enjoy great food at a great price. Car, the 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 car, I have been thinking about there all the way to the way. Just like a summary of what's supposed to be two eggs and goes in. Can you get it to check out our website? Don't forget to get it to the passage. Yeah, I am. We're going to sit down and write them. They say the land is a little bit. Yeah, you can't miss us. Unless they didn't take ITM. But if they took ITM from Pensacola and Gulf Shores, they drove right by. Yeah, that's what they did. Cool.
I knew exactly what you're talking about. Have a great holiday season. The well, management staff of labor finders remind you to fasten yeah, your seatbelt when you're going exactly on a long trip or shopping. Like I never heard of it before. If you're in an accident, your chances of survival are twice as good with yeah. the belt fastened. And Charlie, the truck stop yeah, there at exit 13 on the road uh -huh. doesn't have a truck stop diner in it anymore. They have a Popeyes fried chicken and a Dunkin' Donuts. Neither one of them are open 24 hours. Labor finders taking part in the annual Gulf Coast Holiday Safety Program. Bay, For over 16 years, the Stuckies have been anyone. dedicated to bringing mobile and yeah, the building's the most extensive news, commentary, yeah. investigative reporting, business, cuisine, sports, and mm -hmm. arts and entertainment coverage. When another publication became a I'll double check tomorrow. Of a we'll drive right newspaper, by. We became mm -hmm. even more committed. Covering our Tell you what I wish was open. School Christmas Day. Sam's Super Burger. That matter the most to yeah. those yeah. of us down there Christmas Day eating a chili cheeseburger off the park in Minneapolis. Hitting everybody five dollars over the years. Down on Highway 90 is day. I looked over the Carl Dixie. It's all bored it up. Online Good. I'm ready for personal needs to see Now through the end of the year, well, the one on Highway 90 is down. By a one -year yeah, subscription that's why I was just saying. And get a six-month subscription for free. Gift it to a friend, neighbor, or <laughs> long over, over <laughs> done it today. <laughs> I haven't been to a Colonel Dixie in 30 years. He's slow to go to one on Airport Boulevard. Call 251-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-451-
when they recorded that, I'm sure they never thought it would become a mammoth hit. You know, it was kind of a, let's throw this fun song together, you know, and, uh, but there was a lot of folks that I know, are you listening, Cantonment, that uh, <laughs> they could really relate to that. And what's funny... Grandma had to walk to their house. And what's funny, Morgan and Morgan has a billboard right here in front of Frickin' Spoon, mm -hmm. and they're all dressed up like Santa Claus, and it says, did Grandma, did your Grandma get run over by a reindeer? Call, Call us, you know. <laughs> it does. There's a billboard right there. 1-800-Born-A-Lawyer. So. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> oh, Lord. Don't choke, Mike. We still trying we got like six minutes left. Oh, let me step up. Now... Now, how am I supposed to handle this? I have to put the earphone up to the phone so people can hear Legendary John from Fish River, but then I'm not going to be able to hear. But he said I won't either. Yeah, you will. You're I don't know what right happened there. to the wire. I can't hear. There's can't wires hear all people. over this place except the you can't one hear we need. People. It, with my earphones on, I can't. I, oh. I know. That oh, okay. You frustrate me. Bring right. on John. <laughs> There's somebody on the phone. Is That's yeah, John. John from Fish River. You want to put him on? Or well, not? Absolutely. Oh, okay. We can just let him sit there. <laughs> Morning, you talk John. To Merry him. Christmas. Okay. Well, let's see. I've, we're two parties behind us already. <laughs> yeah yesterday and it got one this afternoon and then one tomorrow afternoon. Oh, you ought to be over here, Charlie. We have them every day. Well, I know that. You're just the party <laughs> capital of Fish River. You ought to have a sign in your driveway. Yeah, just about. Let me tell you what I'm doing. And I need your uh, expertise on this. So, He's so listening. How does, how does ground clothes taste? How do ground clothes taste, Stu? Now you away from the microphone. I don't know if it'll reach that far. Clove has a similar uh, flavor palette to nutmeg, uh, cinnamon, star anise. It's in kind of that family. Well, what I'm doing is a ham uh, with uh, honey, brown sugar. It'll be perfect. And I want to grind, grind up some clove. Rather than grind it up, Push the studs directly into the ham about an inch apart and do like a uh, a pattern with it. Did you get yeah. push the studs into the ham? Yeah, I've done that many times. I was just looking for something different. Yeah. Well, you can grind it up if you want, but... Uh, but then you have to smear it on. Well, yeah, it? I think he's going to do a rub anyway. So, yeah. yeah, I would add it to a rub if you want to. I think it would be just fine. Yeah. And but, I'm doing an injected turd ducking, too. I have one made for me. You wouldn't believe where it came from, I can't tell you, but yeah. it turned out to be something. <laughs> well, I'm glad it turned out to be something, so are you because serving it turned out to be nothing, on, you wasted your money. <laughs> are you serving dinner on Christmas Day night? We, we're looking for a place to come Hey, up. Nancy. Christmas afternoon. Uh-huh. One, two, one, two, whenever it's ready. Yeah. That's the way I try to do it. Just, I say, what time are you going to be there? Just whenever it's ready. Before the wine runs out. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, I certainly hope all of you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You really too, John. Do. You're really a big part of this show. Thank yeah, you, John. We Merry appreciate Christmas your presence, man. Merry Christmas now. All righty, man. Okay. You know, ah, we, now I see what you did there. We joke a lot. I try know, not to. We I'm, joke a lot. I'm serious all about, 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 you know, especially with me, about <laughs> drinking and driving, you know, getting in the sauce of spirit and whatever. You're yeah, right. But we want to be serious and, and folks don't take any risks. You got take an Uber, Uber. lift. You don't got, take a risk, take an Uber. Don't take let your lift. wife drink. Yeah. Let her drive. <laughs> yeah. Don't walk it. I'm gonna be popular about that. <laughs> we had a question that I noticed on the Facebook Live from my uh -huh. friend Nancy over in Gulfport. She has a very good question. Why is it so much easier to eat crappy food than food that is good for you? Uh -huh. And that is because Happy food is made with stuff you shouldn't be putting in your body. Exactly. It doesn't cost anything. Plus, it's quick it's and available everywhere. Right. It is cheap because it's not real food. And thank God there's some restaurants coming around now that are uh, offering better, healthier choices. Uh, right. And, Stu, I, I want to tell you also, you have affected one thing in my diet. Uh-oh. And that is that I rarely eat Kraft Singles on my sandwiches anymore. <laughs> Uh, that, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with Kraft Singles, but it's not unless cheese. you want it to taste like cheese. Yeah, yeah. It, it, to me, it's thick mayonnaise. It's yeah. not going to hurt me. It's yeah. just not cheese. Right. 
Yeah. And uh, it, it's not terrible for you. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's fat and all that. It's not horrendous like yeah. some of the other things. It's just, it's also just not cheese. And, yeah. and you will notice it never says American cheese. It says cheese food product. Yeah, they have some kind of law that says you can't put cheese on the label unless it's cheese somewhere in it. Yeah, yeah. But, but but like Kraft Singles, it's still made with milk. It's a dairy product, right, which right. just not cheese. Well, folks, Merry That's Christmas. Get out there. Spend time with your family. Love them. Love your family. You never know. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, an example. You never know what's going to happen in your life. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I've been to several funerals in the last uh, week or two. Yeah, same here. And... and I, I, I just can't believe it, and and spend time and love them while they're here. And if you're reading out today, double your tip. Hey, that's a great idea. I yeah. did that on the way in at Waffle House. I've been doing that this week. I've been yeah. upping it up, stepping it up with a yeah. tip. Yeah. Stu, Merry Christmas. Man. Merry Christmas. And provolone to everybody oh, minute, to all a good provolone. I started that <laughs> song too soon. <clears throat> oh, good. Let's keep talking. Yeah, please do about another 15 seconds. So. But no, we're, we're serious, folks. Real quick, yeah. made my reservations yesterday. Southwind, Southwind Kitchen, Jeremiah's Place. Cool. New Year's Eve. Good for Have you, Have you seen man. the menu for New Year's Eve? I saw it. Oh, oh my gosh. 65 a person, well worth it. Bye, guys. Mm. Provolone. Bye, Charlie. Merry Christmas. Bye, Phil. Ho, ho, ho. You to slow down during this busy holiday season. Bye, everybody.